King Ixion of Thessaly was a nefarious man who ruled his kingdom with an iron fist. In Thessaly, the best horses in Greece were bred, and only the best resided in the king's stud farm. The king fell in love with the beautiful Dia, daughter of Ionius, a nobleman of the region. Ixion promised Ionius that he would give him some of his famous horses in exchange for the hand of the beautiful young woman. However, after marrying Dia, Ixion didn't fulfill his part of the agreement, which outraged the now father-in-law. He decided to take justice into his own hands and stole Ixion's horses. Ixion was furious and came up with a plan to get revenge on his father-in-law. Ionius was invited to a meeting with Ixion in his palace on the pretext of making peace. Ixion received his father-in-law cordially, but the king had a plan against his wife's father. The king invited Ionius to visit a new division of his palace. This one had a moat, and when the visitor stretched his neck to see what was inside it, he was pushed by his son-in-law. Ionius fell into the ditch that was full of embers. The guest was consumed by the flames and cried out in pain to Ixion's satisfaction. And, before he was devoured by the flames, Ionius saw his daughter's charred body beside him. But Ixion's sins would not be forgiven. The king was deposed and became a vagabond, being stoned and spat at every place. After years of suffering, Ixion seemed to repent and asked the gods for forgiveness. Zeus took pity on the man who had once been a great king and invited him to visit Olympus. Ixion participated in celestial banquets and fraternized with Olympian deities, but his lack of character emerged again. Ixion fell in love with the goddess Hera, wife of Zeus, his host. He even confessed to the goddess his desire to be carnally united with her. Hera rejected him and told her husband everything. Zeus did not believe that his guest would be capable of such an act. To test Ixion, Zeus molded a cloud with the same outline as the goddess Hera. The goddess-shaped cloud flirted with Ixion. He did not hesitate and united with the false goddess. From this sin against hospitality, bizarre creatures were born, a mixture of man and horse that would become known as centaurs. Zeus expelled Ixion from Olympus. He wasn't more ruthless as he felt some empathy with Ixion. After all, as we know, the great god also struggled to contain his lust. But Zeus would regret his clemency. Ixion, after returning to the world of men, boasted that he had been with the Queen of Heaven, and that enraged Zeus. The supreme god fulminated Ixion with one of his rays, and his spirit was thrown into the depths of Tartarus. Ixion was put on a burning wheel, bound by serpents. He would spend eternity burning in the spinning wheel.